Look, okay, she send a pics of me before they hit the ground. All night we run them numbers on a fitness sand. This is cricket match, couple day affair with your wife. You think she leave it with my hoodie, told her give it back. Stop off at the home. Time. A date has been announced. August 20th. Anthony Joshua and Oleksandr Usyk will meet again for the Unified Heavyweight Championship of the World. The winner will probably go on to meet Tyson Fury for the Undisputed Championship. Look, I know he said he's retired, but nobody believes him. While the loser, I don't know. But it's Anthony Joshua that we need to talk about because he's got a new trainer, he's got a new deal with the zone, and it makes you wonder, is this Anthony Joshua's last stand? Let's talk about it right here on Fighting Words with me, Andreas Hale. We've seen this movie before. Anthony Joshua loses, goes to Saudi Arabia for a rematch, and then gets his unified heavyweight titles back. No big deal. But this one's different, a lot different. You see, when Anthony Joshua was knocked out by Andy Ruiz, nobody saw that coming. So when the rematch happened in Saudi Arabia and Joshua outpointed Ruiz, all was well with the world. But when he fought Oleksandr Usyk, it wasn't a knockout that nobody saw coming. It was Usyk dominating Joshua nearly stopping him in the 12th round. Now Anthony Joshua was going back to Saudi Arabia for another rematch, hoping to get his titles off of Oleksandr Usyk. But this is a crossroads fight. Arguably, this is Anthony Joshua's last stand. Here's why. A lot of things have changed about Anthony Joshua since we last saw him. For one, he's got a new deal with the zone. It's not just a broadcasting deal where we're gonna see him fight. He's a shareholder and an advisor. Some might say he's planning his future after boxing. So could he already be looking at the end of the road? The other thing is, he has a new trainer. Rob McCracken's been with Anthony Joshua for a long time. He guided him to the gold medal in the 2012 Olympics, and he's helped him become the heavyweight champion of the world. But for whatever reason, Joshua felt like he needed to change things left behind McCracken and picked up Robert Garcia, which could be a good move, but the problem is, is that they haven't even had a fight yet. We don't even know if this marriage is gonna work. It's risky. Some might say it's a panic move. If Joshua fails again, this could be it. I'm not so sure if Joshua knows exactly what he's doing. Well, maybe he does, and we just are a little confused. I don't know what's going on, but it feels like if Anthony Joshua loses this fight, it's over. His career is over. The glow is over. The fight with Tyson Fury, up in smoke. But you know what? Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe Anthony Joshua losing isn't the end of the road. Look, let's just say Anthony Joshua beats Oleksandr Usyk. All this stuff sounds like nonsense. He becomes a heavyweight champion again, and we're all looking for a blockbuster fight with Tyson Fury. We all say, hey, the Robert Garcia marriage worked. We all say, hey, there's a zone deal, there's a zone one. Cool. But if Joshua loses, the first thing I thought was, this is it, he's gonna retire. There's nothing left for him to do. But then I was like, nah, Joshua's a competitor. And there's one fight I still wanna see, Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. Look, if Anthony Joshua loses to Oleksandr Usyk, it's not too much shame in it. You wanna know why? Because Usyk is a gold medalist, undisputed cruiserweight champion, and then be a unified heavyweight champion who's arguably the best pound for pound fighter in the world. It's really no shame in losing that fight. You let Fury and Usyk fight to become undisputed, whatever. But you can't tell me that you're not interested in seeing Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. This fight was supposed to happen before. And if they're both coming off of back-to-back -back losses, that's like a loser leaves town match. And I'm excited for it. Who the hell knows who's gonna win? I wanna see it. One way or another, I think we're gonna get it at some point. But if Joshua loses, maybe it's not his last stand. Maybe there's something left. Maybe a Joshua Wilder fight is just what the doctor ordered. I'm here for it. I want to know what you think. Is Anthony Joshua in panic mode? Are all these changes symbolic of somebody who's looking at the end of his career? And if he does lose to Usyk, is it over? Or are you like me and saying, you know what? That damn Joshua Wilder fight, pff, I want to see it no matter what. And maybe Joshua is that much of a competitor that even if he loses to Usyk, he still wants that fight. Sound off in the comments, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me at Andreas Hell. You can yell at me, you can talk your trash to me, you can agree with me. I like when you agree with me. But this is fighting words. And I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make you think. Until next time, folks, we're out of here. Peace.